Right guys, look at what has just arrived in the mail. It is the brand new Shawn Michaels Ultimate Edition action figure exclusive to Amazon, the Fan Takeover exclusive Ultimate Edition line. And yeah, this Shawn Michaels looks awesome in the promo pics. I can't wait to open it. Uh, yeah, it's arrived a lot sooner than the expected date. I believe the expected date uh, from Amazon UK was between July and August, and we're only at the end of June now. Um, I did manage to pre-order a couple of these uh, a few months ago now, I'd like to say. I know they've gone in and out of stock um, on Amazon for pre-order. I think they may be up now, so yeah, be sure to go over to Amazon UK and check. Um, yeah, because I imagine this is well worth the price. And, you know, some of these Ultimate Editions, you never know if they're going to be, you know, skyrocketing, skyrocketing in price, just like The Rock. Um, and, you know, rare like the other fan takeover exclusives, uh, like the Hulk Hogan, haven't seen anything of that. I ordered one of those on Amazon USA last year and I still haven't received it. I don't know if that order is even going to go through. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. It might show up someday. But yeah, as you can see, it does come in the Mattel Toys shipper box, um, just like the fan takeover uh, Jeff Hardy, which was the last one. And, you know, I wasn't too impressed with that figure. I thought the torso was way too big. Um, the accessories were cool, the head scans were okay, I know some people had, you know, paint issues with those, and yeah, it did come with that championship title, but I have to say I'm much more excited for this Shawn Michaels, um, his, Shawn Michaels' last Ultimate Edition figure was one of the best figures of the year, um, I know they've just re-released that as well, I believe they're shipping, uh, from ringside and other stores soon, um, same with the Brock Lesnar in that wave, because they just became so rare, um, it does seem to be a thing, you know, with these Ultimate Edition figures that they do uh, become rare, especially, you know, some of them like the Brock and the Shawns. Um, so, yeah, definitely go try grab one of these while you can. I did tear off this label, so I ruined the shipper a bit. But, yeah, I don't really care uh, for the shipper. So, yeah, uh, I didn't expect to be uploading this video today alongside my last video. So this this will either be a video, uh, two videos in one day, or I'll upload this a day after my channel update. But, yeah, guys. First review back uh, after a while, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this shipper box and we'll see what it looks like in the packaging. So here it is guys, in the packaging out of the uh, protector shipper box and yeah, this just looks awesome. You know, you got the red and white Survivor Series 1995 attire I believe, the gear uh, is where that's from. And yeah, it really does just perfectly match, you know, the uh, red and white box. So yeah, if you want to keep this mock... Um, I have one to keep mock, so yeah, this is definitely a figure that you know I would recommend keeping in the box. But if you if you really want to open it like I do right now, um, yeah, definitely grab two because I imagine this figure is just as good in hand as it is looking in the box. Um, yeah, he does have his awesome entrance gear there, a couple of head scans. Uh, maybe the torso is a bit big on this one. Um, I'm not too sure. We'll have to see in hand. Uh, I know in the promo pics it looked a bit funny. Uh, this Shawn Michaels also has the butterfly joints compared to his last Ultimate Edition. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how great those are. Um, yeah, so, again, sorry I don't have a tripod or anything. That's in storage. I wasn't planning on making, you know, any videos like this. But I just thought I'd throw out a review for you guys who may be wanting to see this figure early. I think we, Amazon UK has actually started shipping this out before the US. It might have been the same for the TakeOver Jeff Hardy as well. So yeah, that's a that's a big win right that uh, right there for us, and yeah, no description on the back. I don't know whether the US box is different. Um, I know the Elite boxes do that for some reason, but yeah, this looks awesome, and yeah, I have a few Shawn Michaels now. I did just pick up this SummerSlam one, so yeah, we're going a bit further back in time with this one. Now this figure should be a lot better, you know, with all the extra articulation the Ultimate Editions tend to come with. But yeah, we're going to find out now. So let's go ahead and open this guy and I'll give you guys my full thoughts on it. And here is the figure out of the packaging looking very nice. Yeah, the, this red attire just looks awesome. A lot like, you know, Shawn Michaels' uh, WrestleMania Elite from years and years ago. The red attire just really pops, especially with the white and everything. Yeah, I absolutely love this. You've got the white kick pads, of course, with the Ultimate Edition exclusive toe articulation. You've got the open knee pads and yeah, the torso here and the head scan. But yeah, we're going to have a closer look at everything, give you my thoughts on the part choices. Um, but yeah, starting out with the head scan here. Uh, we are going to put, you know, all the entrance gear and everything on him as well. But for now, we're just going to take a look at the head scans. 
So yeah, do you guys think this looks like Shawn Michaels? For some reason, they've never been able to, you know, nail the likeness on him. Um, I think this is a lot better than, you know, the uh, one of the first Elite scans they ever did that they seem to keep giving him. Um, but yeah, this definitely, you know, matches the time of when this attire was worn a lot more and, you know, that era of Shawn. Uh, he does have a little ponytail there. Uh, which is cool, I like the detail on that, you know, you can see the braiding and everything. And yeah, I don't mind this head scan, we do have another head scan with this one though. Uh, it is a open mouth head scan, these both have these really long earrings on as well. Uh, yeah, that's cool, can you remove these? Oh, you actually can remove the earrings, I was going to say, because he wouldn't be wearing them in a match now, would he? So yeah, that's very easy to remove, you just pull them off like that. And yeah, here is the open mouth Shawn Michaels. Is this the same as no it isn't? I don't know if we've had this head scan before. Maybe on a basic, definitely not on an elite, uh, or the other ultimate edition. Um yeah. Do you guys like the this head scan? You know, you do have the uh hair flicked down at the front. I'm not sure. Uh I don't know which one I like the most. I think I like this screaming one more, although it is hard to tell. I don't know. They, they both look cool, you know, they they do it for me, they're not, they're not like terrible, they're not the worst Sean scan they've ever done. And you know, the fact you can remove the earrings is awesome. Um, I was worried for a second there, I was going to say, would, would he have to wear them in the mask? Oh, I've just seen there though, he does have holes in the side of his head scan. So, that means those holes are always going to be there whenever you're using this figure, which is kind of annoying. Um, it looks like they plug into those holes, I'll have to give it a go off camera, and I'll let you guys know. So yeah, I've just had a little fiddle around with it, and yeah, when you take these ear earrings off, you just kind of get this hole in the side of his head. I don't know why they've done it that way. I know the earring needs to plug into there, but could they not have made it where they just clip on and clip off easy enough? Hmm, that is strange. So yeah, that's a pretty annoying uh, thing there, um, but we'll put those to the side. Yeah, we've had a look at the figure, the double jointed arms, of course, the butterfly joints, which are beautiful. Um, the torso, is this the same as the Jeff Hardy one? Just a bit uh, more, you know, the, the skin tone is a bit different. And of course you have the chest hair on there. I'm not sure if this is the same as the old Ultimate Edition one, because that one did not have the butterfly joints, I'm pretty sure. I, that one's up in storage, so I don't have that to hand right now to compare. I'm sure you'll see some other reviewers uh, compare those. But yeah, I like this torso, you know, it doesn't look too bad in person. Maybe it's a bit big, but I think it works. And yeah, onto the entrance gear. He does have, you know, the white and red gear. He has the vest here. He has these, I forgot what they're called. They're like cowboy trousers, you know, what Hangman would wear. Um, I forget what these are called. But yeah, these just strap on, I'm pretty sure, with the Velcro. So yeah, we're going to put all these on him in just a moment. And he does have this cool little hat right here, you know, so it all matches uh, like right there on that image and then two interchangeable hands he has the fists and he is wearing the mic holding hands uh, yeah that's quite cool everything you know necessary that needs to come with a Shawn Michaels so yeah only really only really the earrings that are the uh, annoying accessory but I'm gonna go ahead and put all these on and we'll have a look at what he looks like all complete don't think I showed you guys the uh, back of the figure, actually. Yeah, it does, does just have the uh, Heartbreak Kid text there and logo. Yeah, pretty much the same designs on the back. The paint actually does go on the back of the knee pads as well, so that's quite nice that it matches. Um, but yeah, it looks like the bottom and the lower leg is just painted red. But yeah, that's quite cool. You know, the heart logos and everything looking very clean. So here is Shawn Michaels with all of his entrance gear on, looking very awesome. You know, this was all very easy to uh, put onto him. Uh, the earrings do tend to pop off and they are quite easy to lose, um, you know, while you're putting the jacket off. So I recommend you take off the earrings, put the jacket on, put everything else on, and then maybe put the earrings on, you know, turn the head when you want to put this earring on, then turn it the other way when you want to put this one on. Uh, you guys will see if you have this in hand what I mean, um, just so you don't lose them, that's all. And yeah, here is the vest and everything looking awesome. You know, you can see the chest hair through there. Uh, this Velcro bit was very easy to uh, attach together. I just remembered these are called chaps and I had them round the wrong way. As you can see, I have changed it uh, where the belt buckle is on the front. It didn't really make sense because on here it looked like, you know, there was a bigger gap between the 
uh, thigh and the crotch area. But yeah, I've gone ahead and fixed that now. That makes a lot more sense, you know, with the buckle on the front. But yeah, there we have it. And here he is in the iconic pose. Very easy to get this pose, you know, with the butterfly joints and everything. And, you know, the ball jointed legs are awesome, which are pretty much on all Shawn Michaels uh, elites and ultimate editions. And the double jointed arms means you can get, you know, a better um, kind of bend on the elbows to, you know, perfect this pose. And here he is next to a kind of more modern version of HBK uh, from 2005. Uh, yeah, so these attires are like 10 years apart, which is crazy. And these are the tights. These are, you know, the kind of more uh, baggier attire. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys prefer, the tights or the baggier attire. I can't choose. They're both just awesome. And finally, here he is next to another recent Ultimate Edition release. We do have the Ultimate Edition Target Exclusive Batista. So yeah, both of these are exclusive, so they're definitely going to be harder to get. Um, but yeah, these are both very awesome. Uh, you know, both have hints of red and white on them, which is a great colour scheme for, you know, attires that really stand out. And yeah, I'm a big fan of both of these. I can't really choose a favourite. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. So yeah guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, let me know what you think of this figure. You know, apart from the earrings and maybe the slightly large torso, I think this figure is perfect. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, only the earring holes, which is the only annoying part. But yeah, definitely one of the best Shawn Michaels figures ever released. And I highly recommend you get it if you can for a decent price. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.